Well, hi, we're working on a 1974 Series 3 88 inch uh, model today with a J Series diesel and a problem. We've got the pinion carrier and rear differential assembly removed, drive shaft dangling there you see in the foreground, and the front of what a lot of people call the differential is removed. That's actually the pinion carrier and has the differential set up inside of it. Half shafts are out, etc., hubs along with it. Um, as you may or may not recall, if you saw one of the videos we've posted, uh, this axle or this wheel was just basically free spinning, and I would get uh, you know gears turning and some resistance on the other wheel when I turn it. So something was wrong with this half axle. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. So here's the right hand side, ten spline of the half shaft, good to go. Very limited play between the driving member and driven member. That's good. I'm not too upset with that. We actually got the hub cap off up here, and you can kind of see a little bit more of how this is all assembled. Pretty simple setup. Hub cap. Oh, there's some foreshadowing. And yes, the end of this uh, longer shaft on the left-hand side, rear axle, is toast. It uh, snapped clean off inside the diff, meaning it got super hot down here. Dun, dun, dun. We got it out. And now you have, let's well, basically, this is your differential in here, your differential housing, your differential carrier. It has your cross shaft, your planet gears, and your sun gears. And if you know in a differential, when you rotate one this way, that side goes that way. You can tell if I were to twist this this way, the other side would twist that way. Let's see if we see anything, a little bit of wear on that tooth, huh? Okay, at a glance, a little bit on the other side. And then, uh, grr. Yeah, it's frozen. So this seized up. You ever wonder what happens when you don't properly maintain or keep fluid going on and things get too hot? Things do seize. And this is in some way, shape, or form not shaped properly and it's not happy and it is frozen. So long story short, that becomes toast to us. Uh, I don't rebuild differentials. I put new ones in with 10 bolts and two new shafts and we drive away. So anyway, there's a little update for you on the inside of a non-working differential and it's uh, ground gear and all the good stuff down in here that are trying to play nice but cannot. <laughs> 